So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem. I know that just given the length of the question, typically four or more, so four plus lines long means translation. And again, all this strategy means is that you don't want to just go on and read the entire thing and try to answer it. Instead, you want to read, you want to stop, write down any important facts, uh, make sure you understood the sentence that you just read, do all that as you go instead of, again, trying to recap at the end. So let's do that. So in this question, it says, in a study of bat migration habits, 240 male bats all right, so I'm going to just write that down. Male, I have 240. And 160 female bats, so for female, this is exactly how I would answer this question if I were doing it on the real test. I just write that down. As, so there's my translation for the first sentence. Then it says, if 100 more female bats are tagged, so I'm going to add 100, getting me to 260. Um, more bats must be, or how many more bats must be tagged how many more male bats? So I don't know how many more for the male. So add X, it becomes 240 plus X. How many more male bats must be tagged so that three-fifths of the total number of bats in the study are male? Well, this three-fifths of the total number of bats in the study are male is another part of my translation. How do I do that? So three-fifths of means to multiply. So three-fifths times. The total number of bats, well, what's the total number of bats? It's the male bats, so 240 plus X, plus the female bats, right? So plus 260. So here is my three-fifths of the total number of bats, R, so equals male. Well, what's the male bats again? 240 plus X. Here's my translation of that final um, half of the sentence. So now I just need to simplify this. So I have three-fifths. 240 plus 260 is 500, so 500 plus X equals 240 plus X. Now I'm going to multiply this 3 fifths in. So by doing that, 3 fifths times 500, well, 5 crosses out, 5 goes into 500 100 times, and 3 times 100 is 300. So 3 fifths times 500 is 300. 3 fifths times X, well, that's just going to be plus 3 fifths x equals 240 plus x. Now I am going to move the x to the right hand side. It's really your choice. Um, I'm going to move it to the right hand side and I'm going to move my whole numbers or my integers to the left hand side. So 300 minus 240, let's go up here for more space, 300 minus 240 is 60. 3 fifths minus 3 fifths, so that's gone. 240 minus 240, so that's gone. And then x minus 3 fifths x. Well, I can't really do that unless I have a common denominator. So x, I'm going to rewrite as 5 fifths x, right? Because 5 fifths x is the same as 1x. So 5 fifths x minus 3 fifths x, that's going to be 2 fifths x. So now I just have to multiply both sides by 5 halves, right? Multiply by the reciprocal in order to get x alone. So 2's cross out, 5's cross out. So I'm left with just x here. And then 5 halves times 60. Again, I'll write that out so we can clearly see what's going on. I'll call this 60 over 1. Well, 2 goes into itself once. 2 goes into 60 30 times. So what I'm left with is 5 times 30 over 1, which is 150, is equal to x, and therefore our final answer here is 150.